welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing this look for you guys. And this is both a makeup and hair tutorial. This is actually my very first hair tutorial on my channel, so that's really exciting. Um, the hair is just gorgeous, natural, wavy curls. And that's what I've got going on here. And then the makeup, as you can see, is pretty dramatic and dark and smoky and just so perfect and ideal for fall. And that's why I love it so much. So, um, on my last tutorial that I posted, it was a classic fall makeup look. It was very easy. It was very simple. This is a little bit more detailed, but there's a lot of gorgeousness going on right here. And I'm not talking about my face. I'm talking about the makeup. <laughs> so anyways, if you guys want to see how I got this hair and makeup look, then please keep watching. Okay, so as you guys can see, I already have my foundation and brows and highlight contour, all that good stuff. So jumping right into it, I am going to grab these two shades here from the Morphe 35O palette. And I'm going to sweep all of this on my lid and my crease area just for a nice transition shade. Now we're gonna take this color here on a smaller blending brush and we're just gonna blend out the crease area using this color. Don't forget to blend, guys. It is extremely important. Too many people forget, and that is why I am reminding you. <laughs> so now we're gonna take these two shades here, and I'm going to use this on my crease as well to deepen it up, really give us some depth and dimension in our crease. And as you can see, I'm not bringing this up too high. You don't want to do that. I've seen in some pictures some girls bring their eyeshadow way too high and it looks way too choppy, so don't do that. And now I'm gonna take these two shades here and run it a little bit lower than where I did the other two shades before. So we're just gonna blend, blend, blend because you guys know that is extremely important. And now I'm gonna take these two shades here and I'm gonna deepen up the crease even more. This whole, this whole look for, for your eyes is all based on blending. Blending is super important, and the more you blend, the easier it, it becomes and the better it looks. So now I'm gonna grab this darker shade and I'm really gonna focus this on the outer portion of my eye and kind of bring it in just a little bit on my lid, but not too much. And remember not to take it too high up when you're doing this. Now I'm gonna take this pencil here to prep our eyes for our glitter, because you know we gotta look fabulous for that glitter. So I wanna prep our eyes for that first by using this. This is gonna make the glitter and then the eyeshadow that we use much easier, because as you guys can see, I'm taking these two shades here from the 35O palette, which are very shimmery and very glittery. And now you can see how beautiful these shades look because I already prepped my eyes for that. And now I'm gonna take this shade and put it right in our crease area as well to make sure that our glitter is blended out and everything goes seamlessly together because that is what we want. And now I'm gonna take this shade here and deepen up the crease even more. As you guys can see, I am deepening the crease until there is no more. <laughs> and now I am going to apply my lashes. I did that off camera because we do not need to see that. <laughs> and I just took a shimmer shade in my inner tear duct area and I did some liner as well you guys know the basics when it comes to applying lashes so now I'm just gonna take this darker shade and really blend that out and I already applied lower mascara to my lashes and now I'm just going to line my lips using max night moth I absolutely love this lip color. It is beautiful for any of you who love a dark lip. It's a great base, and you can just wear this alone as well. So, I mean, it's beautiful, it's dark, it's vampy. It is right up my alley. Now I'm gonna do something different. I'm going back into the Morphe 35O palette and taking that shimmery shade. I'm gonna put that in the middle of my lips. You guys are probably wondering why I'm doing this, and it's because I want to make sure I get an ombre look and still very glowy and sparkly. And now we are going to set thy face with MAC Fix Plus. Yes, honey. Look at this. I love setting my face with MAC Fix Plus because it keeps everything hydrated and all the powders go together and you do not see anything at all. So everything blends out perfectly and it just makes everything feel hydrated. Now we're moving on to hair and I am actually using my Numi wand for this. So as you guys can see, I already put my hair half up and now I'm just going to twist my hair onto the wand, hold it there for a few seconds, not too long, 
and then we are going to take our hair out of it ever so lightly. I decided to wear a glove with this because I can't tell you how many times I have burned my hands and none of us like that. We all know how that goes as women. We do not like that. So protect your hands. <laughs> And now I'm doing the same thing, but as you guys can see, I'm going back and forth. I'm not curling my hair the same way. I'm actually curling it different ways every time to give my hair more volume. And look at that, look at that curl though. So cute. And now as you guys can see, the hair is done. All you have to do is you just keep curling your hair like that. I didn't do anything special, which is why I didn't feel like I needed to show you all of that because let's be honest, no one wants to sit through that because that is boring. <laughs> so I just showed you the basics and then you just keep curling your hair like that. And now I'm just teasing my hair to give it a little bit of volume. And definitely make sure you, of course, spray your hair with ha hairspray, but nothing too firm though. I've seen that also as a mistake and then your hair looks crunchy. You don't want that. So you wanna do something that will set the hair, but nothing too harsh on your hair either. So now I am just brushing out the curls and you guys can see it gives a much softer look. It doesn't look so curly like, you know, curly Sue. And that is it, we are all done. So guys, that is the end of this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I definitely am obsessed with this look. I think it's gorgeous. The hair, you can wear this anytime. You wanna feel fabulous, obviously. And the makeup is just so beautiful for fall and just so different. It's a, it's a different twist to it and I really like it. So I hope you guys do too. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And thank you guys so much for keeping up with me. I love you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.